Hi, I'm Boulder Six. Uh, today we're going to have, have an overview of the crane I fitted to this trailer uh, and the operation of it. So, what we have here is a, a penny hydraulics or Lucas swing lift, 250 kilo uh, swing crane. And basically, you've got these two arms um, and a winch. Um, I have got an additional winch on here because this used to be on a flatbed trailer so you could winch cars and plant up onto it but now I've stuck it on this other trailer so you've got this top arm um, pivoting here on this, this boom here so it's held you know, closed by these little rubber, rubber grommets you pull that out so that loosens that off like so and then you've got a anti-loose fit in here you take that off and then you can bring bring your two booms round like so and uh, what I like about this particular setup crane is you know you can get any position you can get a position over here you know you can get a position over here you know and you can get a position round both sides of the main crane just how you please you can see she moves at 270 degrees on that one and 180 degrees on that one so anyway this is how it was like everything I should have painted this but ran out of time so if we go back down here Here's the little stabiliser leg off that subframe we made. The subframes all fitted onto the A-frame of the trailer with four bolts and them holes, like so. And then we've got another bolt there and another bolt there. And then the crane itself is fitted down with them four bolts in the original socket. But this particular socket has been welded up around there, so you can't remove this. Because it would have been nice if that was loose, because then you could have turned it, and you could have had your 180 and 270 off either side, depending on what you're trying to lift. But that's basically it. As I say, it's hinged, hinged uh, on these two pivots here, one there and one there. That's actually got some spring washers. So anyway, what I've done is, you know, I haven't got the right pendant control. So I took this one off a tail lift, and we'll just use that for now. So I'll swing that round here. So got a little uh, set of crane scales here. That we're going to hook on. And we'll lift. Uh, we lift this on. <laughs> Tilly! So. <laughs> Just set the crown scales up. pendant and we'll lift. And what usually happens is you can see the angle of these two now. Now she'll move if it can to be centralised over. Bit. And there we have it. I just stop that spinning. 80, nearly 88 kilograms and go to pounds 194 pounds so we're working kilograms in this country but as you can see now we can bring this round just clicking a bit I don't really know why and if I want to land it in the center of this trailer this side I can do it 
you know with a lot of fixed booms cranes you couldn't do that unless you have a, a, a jib that will go up and a winch that will go down you can't always bring your load in, in line I can bring my load to there so I, I'd be able to land this I'd be able to land this dead in the middle of this trailer because I can move the two booms to land it in here so you know she's over the centre of that trailer because I can get the articulation on the two booms to give me any of those angles so now I can just uh, oh, the wire will come off the pendant because this isn't how it ought to be really this is just a test today so we put that back on there because I think that is down and as you can see from this side Yeah. and we can drop it we can drop it down exactly where we want to and there's the load and if I needed to drop it in this side again I can do that because she'll, she'll come back on that ram there on that jib there and then she'll go out straight on this now obviously the, this crane isn't quite long enough for this trailer but it is practically the centre of that this other tub which is on this side so as you can see I know it's only rated at 250 kilos but I mean you know this is only this thing here only weighs half its load and I think that's the same it's only half its load so all in all that's a very good accessory and also you could fit like well, hanging up over there you've got some snatch blocks something like that little one there you could you could take this off here fit yourself a ring at the top loop this wire back to the top there hold that ball up and you can fit snatch blocks on there and that would make that would you know make that winch a little winch up there less work Anyway, I hope uh, as we show the stabiliser leg, you know, I fit this. That's all just temporary. Got a little old trailer, Tra trailer leg on there. You know, you can take your weight or whatever. If you're lifting 250 kilos, you ought to. Um, yeah. So that's basically the crane on the fitted onto the trailer. Yeah. Anyway, I hope that was uh, interesting and you found it uh, useful. Uh, if you're going to fit one yourself, lots of mods you can do. You know, just scour the internet. Anyway, thanks for watching.